So we come to the next lecture, and uh, we have uh, woman power. We have Anja Nagele from Germany talking about uh, guest relation topics. She has a long history in uh, cruise, lived on ships for half of her life, so to speak, sailing around the world, but of course um, not as a navigator, but as a, a person who's uh, who dealt with guests and now she gives seminars um, and we are very fortunate to have her and I uh, can promise you it will be a very exciting speech. And there it is. Thank you very much, yeah. Well, it's a great pleasure to be here. And as you heard, my name is Andrea. I spent nearly three decades on ships, mainly in the position as a cruise director, I've been to training now since nearly 13 years as well. And today I will speak to you about the spirit. The spirit of customer service, the spirit of learning. And a little bit I want to share with you what I learned from all those years of traveling, being with people, and of course, learning a lot about myself as well. So I'm very pleased to be here. Just uh, a little remark at the beginning, as I will talk about spirit. There is great spirit here at this event. Fantastic. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And therefore, I want to talk to you about learning first. Learning is a journey and not a destination. And this is so true. We are learning every day, every hour, every minute, if we want to learn. If we have open minds, this makes our world go round. Learning, it's something very positive. And as I worked so many years on board ships, I will now take you on a cruise and we will see what I learned during all those years, which I would love to share with you and just give you the inspiration that you have this wish to learn and that development and progress are something highly, highly important, loving and also very rewarding. Now, learning is something special because we learn a lot about ourselves as well. Actually, everything starts with ourselves. If I want to inspire people, I have to be able to inspire myself. If I want to motivate somebody, I have to be motivated myself. And if I want to have confidence in someone, I should have self-confidence. I should be strong and proud and find my value. Now, learning is a journey and not a destination. That means learning never ends. We keep on learning. And that helps us to become more and more open-minded. We become also part of the world. And we are within all those energies that we find around the planet. And of course, we can share them with everybody else. So learning also means we are growing, we are developing, and that's the best we can do in our lives. Now, what can we learn from the bamboo? Interesting question. We just talked about sustainability, which is certainly something we can learn. However, there is a lot more that we can learn from the bamboo. Look at it. Strong and solid in the soil. That means the bamboo has an amazing strength in itself. However, the bamboo grows and it's moving. Is looking out for new experiences, for inspiration, for things that can be seen, things that we can pick up, and we grow towards new experiences. However, there can be a strong wind, so the bamboo will bend. The bamboo will bend, but it will not break because it comes back to its original position. 
the strong and solid foundation of education, of experiences, however also of your inner value, helps you to be very, very strong, helps you to be able to reach out for new experiences, still remain with your values, however be flexible, and if there are white storms coming up, like you can face when you are navigating at sea, you will always be able to fight back to your original position. Of course, all this with new experiences, with new power, with new ideas, and certainly as well with more strength because you know how to face situations. Now, the spirit of customer service, that's a world on its own. Let me just start with the official explanation of customer service. Customer service is the act of taking care of the customer's needs by providing and delivering professional, helpful, high quality service and assistance before, during and after the customer's requirements are met. Now that's a very long sentence. And, of course, there is a lot more behind this topic, customer service. It has a lot to do with the spirit that we spread. And this is not only linked to tourism, in all professions, wherever you work, customer service has to do with professionalism, however, also with the spirit. I have been to Albania 14 times. I have great experiences. Now that is the spirit that I take home when I leave the country. So I talk to other people, I say, you should go. It's lovely there. I had this experience. Also on business travel, not only on leisure travel. If you share the good experiences, that is a wonderful business card that you give to someone. Everybody is like an ambassador. So let's share good experiences and let's live this spirit of customer service. Now, what do we need? Customer service, apart from the spirit, what do we need to provide excellent customer service? Great listening skills, that's something we need. Now, is it always easy to listen? No, always, I know. There is hearing and listening. Hearing, for example, gives you some factual information. Listening can also give you an idea about how the person feels or what's most needed in this situation. So we say that listening is gold. It's a very valuable tool. Clear verbal and non-verbal communication. Verbal means how we speak, non-verbal, the way we talk with our body, gestures, movements, and so on. Now there, we also have to take into consideration if we have people from other countries, so gestures or mimics might be taken in a different way. Be knowledgeable in your field. That means have a great education. Be open-minded with a wish to learn more, to explore, to try new things. And don't be afraid, go for it. Go for it if you have interest. Have your antennas open and remain also interested in fields that are maybe not your main field, just because it's interesting. Have an understanding of human behavior, that is essential, of course, as well. We heard a lot of beautiful information already about the four human intelligences, the four main human areas, which we call dimensions as well. So we have the physical, the emotional, the spiritual, and of course also the mental part. So we should understand how human beings behave, how customers behave, how our business partner behaves. Because there are situations when it really helps to put ourselves simply in their shoes. There might be a situation, for me it's not really that dramatic, however for the other person, yes. They might come to you 
with a backpack of experiences from somewhere else, somebody else, which could have been negative. However, you can make it positive, so the new experience will override the old one. That's what we mean by understanding human behavior as well, and make sure that all those areas, mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional, are in balance. Empathy is one of the key skills that we should all aim for. It's part of the emotional intelligence. And as long as we have empathy, we can adjust and fine tune every single situation. Be open for new experiences. Take your ship and explore new waters. Be the captain of your ship. Take your steering wheel and explore new areas which means gain new experience. Now, let's continue with some communication quotes, because communicating is something that is essential. We all communicate all the time in different languages, in our own language, with our body, or of course, verbally. Now, there is one quote, which is very interesting, because it shows one of the main areas of misunderstanding in communication. The single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. And the other one, the most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't said. So if we find this area of information, in between the sentences, this can be in writing, while we talk, on the phone, or face to face, to listen to that what has not been said, or to really make sure if communication has taken place, that is a skill, a skill, a key skill that we should always aim for. Now, why don't we show the picture of the Sixteenth Chapel by Michelangelo? Because customer service is actually a piece of art. You create this piece of art, it's ever-changing, there might be new situations, you have to deal with them. However, the end will be that you create an everlasting piece of art for your customers. Now, what is connected with that? Of course, as well, be open for changes. We had that wonderful video yesterday about the change, a lot of more changes coming. Now, that happens, of course. Now, please tell me, we have in our society a lot of people, 90 plus, let's say in Europe, but also in other countries, even 100 plus. So tell me, somebody who is 90 years old now, which kind of changes or technical developments did they have in one lifetime? Any ideas? The airplane, for example. What else? Somebody who's 90 years old now? Yes, please. Car driving. Earrings. Earrings. Ah, the earrings. Okay. Car driving. Yes, correct. And what else? Cars, airplanes. 90 years. Somebody who's 90 years now. Yeah, absolutely. Cell phones, computers. So there are emails, there are a lot of changes, even things we use at home in our everyday life. So it's very important to face that even in one lifetime. And for you, it will be even more important because there are changes coming more and more quickly in your lifetime. However, you are also the future. You are the ambassadors. And you are the ones who take that ship and the steering wheel and bring it to the right direction. All right, I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. So as long as you find the strength in yourself, focus on education, focus also on what you love to do, what you're passionate about. However, always have your antennas reaching out for new input then you will always reach your destination. Whenever the ship has to take another course because of inclement weather, you will be able to meet 
your original course. Adjust your sails and enjoy the voyage. The meaning of the team. Teamwork. We all talk about team spirit, as spirit is also my topic for today. But what does it really mean? We talk about teams, and we should have a look at the single letters, what they stand for. Actually, it means together, everybody achieves more. That's the meaning of the team. Everybody achieves more. Together, everybody achieves more. Now, of course, we have input from several sides. So, if we come together and we adjust and we kind of supplement all those experiences, we can achieve more, yes. However, also as an individual, you can bring a lot of values into the team. So, together everybody achieves more as a spirit of teamwork, which we find in between different cultures, between also in private life, between friends, family members, in a partnership, however, of course, in business as well. Customer service is also teamwork. Setting the right course, a journey towards success. Now, if you are the captain of your ship, set the right course. Don't let anybody stop your dreams. Try new things. Be innovative. Check it all out. Talk to people. We have incredible possibilities nowadays. We had wonderful talks talking about all the technical possibilities as well. Talk to friends, talk to people from other countries, and it will be enriching and very rewarding to really exchange those experiences. Now, talking about the spirit, let me go and talk about the Ikigai which is the Japanese lifestyle philosophy. It means, how do I find my true and inner meaning of my life? Why do I get up in the morning? Which is my drive and how do I find happiness? I had a very nice comment by a wise person from Argentina who told me once, for me, happiness is a string of pearls of memorable and wonderful moments throughout my life. Now, I like that very much. You can create that for your customers, valuable moments, for your friends, for everybody you deal with, a string of pearls of happy and beautiful moments. Now, regarding happiness, of course, you should also find your happiness in what you are doing, what you aim for. Because the happier you are, the better you work, and the more pose you have on your strength. So that is just a story from my time of traveling. And I must admit, I have been most impressed by traveling to Japan and by the way they treat you as a traveler, this warmth and welcoming and this amazing culture of, I want to do my very best that this experience, whether you are there on business or traveling privately, will be one of those lifetime moments that helps to create happiness. It will be one of those wonderful pearls on your screen that you create during your lifetime. Now, what does it mean? They have actually four areas. One is what you love. That is what you love. It's a very personal thing. We all love different things. Passion and mission. Then the area that you are good at. That's the passion and the profession. What you can be paid for. That's the profession and the vocation. And what the world really needs. That's the mission and vocation. I'll show it to you on a model. Love would be the part what you really like to do. Passion, mission. The skills you have, what you are good at, passion and profession. The needs 
mission and vocation and the money, profession and vocation. What can you be paid for? Now, wherever those circles cross, you first have passion, mission, vocation and profession. Where they cross again, you have your ikigai. Which means whenever you are in balance with all those areas that the human being has during a lifetime, then you will find your personal ikigai. Now my final message to you is please do not copy anybody. You can learn and be inspired from a lot of people and from areas, from events and whatsoever from the world by traveling. Learning is a journey. However, you find your own true inner value because you are special and you don't let anybody stop you or block you to realize your dream, to learn and to do what you most love to do. I thank you very much and uh, later on I will be in the lobby if you want to talk to me about more experiences, some input or we exchange contacts. I'm very happy to do that. Great that you listen to me and enjoy the enriching work with the customers. Thank you. Thank you.